Hi everybody, today we're going to look at adding and subtracting complex numbers. When we add and subtract complex numbers, we will combine real parts with real parts and imaginary parts with imaginary parts. It looks like this. If I have 3 plus 4i plus 8 minus 2i, I'll add the real parts of 3 and 8 to get 11. Then I'll combine the imaginary parts of 4 and negative 2i, which will give us a positive 2i. Let's do the same thing with 10 minus 6i minus 4 plus 3i. To start, I'll look at the real parts, 10 and 4. Remember, there's a negative sign in between, so I'm finding 10 minus 4, which is a positive 6. Then I'll move over to the imaginary parts of negative 6i minus 3i. I want you to think negative 6 minus 3, which gives me a negative 9i. As we're combining the imaginary parts, we're really just dealing with the coefficients and bringing the i along to show we're on the imaginary piece. Sometimes when we're adding and subtracting complex numbers, they're not given to us in standard form. So our first step will be to rewrite the expressions. When I look at 5 minus the square root of negative 4 plus negative 2 plus the square root of negative 49, the first thing I want to do is write 5 minus the square root of negative 4 as 5 minus 2i. Then negative 2 plus the square root of negative 49 becomes negative 2 plus 7i. Now I can combine the real parts of 5 and negative 2 to get 3. Then negative 2i plus 7i gives us a positive 5i. Our next problem says 3 plus the square root of negative 3 plus 2 plus the square root of negative 48. Again, I'll start by rewriting the expression. 3 plus the square root of negative 3 is 3 plus the square root of 3i. 2 plus the square root of negative 48 takes a little bit more work. The square root of negative 48 can be broken down into smaller parts. So I'm going to write this as 2 plus the square root of 16 times 3i. Then 2 plus the square root of 16 times 3i becomes 2 plus 4 square root of 3i. You might find it helpful to put a 1 in front of the square root of 3i to remind yourself of the coefficient. Now 3 plus 2 is going to give me 5. Then the square root of 3i plus 4 square root of 3i becomes 1 plus 4 is 5 square root of 3i. Let's try two more. My first problem says the square root of negative 16 plus 12 square root of negative 1. We know the square root of negative 16 is 4i. 12 plus the square root of negative 1 is 12 plus i. When I write my final solution in standard form, I want to put the real part first. In my first number, I just have 4i. The real part is 0. So if I think about 0 plus 12, I get 12 as my real part. Then 4i plus 1i gives me 5i. My last problem says 8 plus the square root of negative 5 minus 4 plus the square root of negative 7. Once again, I'm going to rewrite the numbers in standard form. 8 plus the square root of negative 5 becomes 8 plus the square root of 5i. Then I'm going to subtract 4 plus the square root of 7i. Putting the real parts together, I have 8 minus 4 is 4. Then let's stop and talk about the square root of 5i minus the square root of 7i. Square root of 5 and square root of 7 don't match. The part they have in common is that they're both the imaginary part of the numbers. So what we're going to do is put together the square root of 5 minus the square root of 7 and then have the i on the outside. It looks like this. My simplified sum is 4 plus the square root of 5 minus the square root of 7 times i.